Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to practice our knife skills following the Food Fun 4-H Knife Skills PDF, pages 1 and 2. My name is Hunter Haxton, a State 4-H Healthy Living Ambassador and Oklahoma 4-H President from McLean County. Now, food cut to specific sizes and shapes can be very useful. Consistently sized pieces cook evenly and at the same rate, eliminating uneven textures. Decorative cuts are pleasing to the eye and allow the food to garnish itself. Many different utensils and appliances are marketed to make this process easy. But none of this specialty equipment is as versatile, durable, or easy to clean as a good quality knife. To practice your knife skills, use a potato. They are softer, less slippery, and cheaper than many other vegetables. Cut potatoes can be held in the refrigerator in salted water overnight, then boiled and mashed. Squaring off is helpful for most types of foods. Holding with your fingers curled back makes straight cuts to create a flat surface on all four sides. This also eliminates the need for peeling vegetables before cutting them. Make a series of slices straight down through the food. These slices can be stacked or cut individually into sticks. These sticks can then be cut into cubes. Cuts should be made by lifting the heel end of the knife off of the cutting board and slicing forward and down in a single motion. Now that we've mashed the potato, let's move on to the onion. The onion can be difficult to cut into evenly sized pieces, but the following steps can be used to make this process a little faster and a lot easier. So start by cutting the stem and off leaving the hairy root. This is the stem end, this is the, the hairy root. Place the onion on the newly cut flat side and slice straight down through the middle of the root and to cut the onion in half. Working close to the edge of the counter work table, make a series of horizontal slices through each onion half, working from the bottom up. Depending on the size of the onion, you may get three to four cuts. Next, make a series of vertical cuts to the fattest part of the onion. Do not cut all the way through the root end. This is holding everything together to make the next step easier. To finish dicing the onion, make a second series of vertical cuts starting at the stem end where we made the first cut and continuing back towards the root end that is holding everything together. If the root end becomes too small to hold on to securely, stop cutting. Only cut back as far as you feel comfortable going. Thank you for watching. I hope these tips and steps help you in the kitchen. My name is Hunter Haxton and remember to stay safe, stay fit, and stay forage healthy.